At the top for us tonight, the former U.S. Secretary of Education, Dr. Laro Cavazos, has died at the age of 95. Secretary Cavazos was born on the King Ranch, where his father worked there as a foreman. The former U.S. Secretary of Education, Dr. Laro Cavazos, has died at the age of 95. Dr. Cavazos went on to graduate from Texas Tech University in Iowa State. That's where he got his doctoral degree in psychology sociology rather. Eventually, he returned to Texas Tech in 1980 to become the first Hispanic and first graduate of the school to become its president. In 1988, he became the first ca Hispanic cabinet member as he was named by President Reagan to serve as Secretary of Education. Our Michael Gibson has reaction coming in tonight. This is a photograph of Dr. Lotto Cavazos taken back in 1944 when he was a member of the Texas National Guard. He was born and raised on the King Ranch. His father worked there as a foreman. I think that uh, we should all be thankful and uh, for what he did. 88-year-old Maggie Salinas is the go-to person in Claiborne County for all things historical. She remembers Cavazos as a young man growing up in Kingsville. He would then go on to become president of Texas Tech University and then become the first Hispanic cabinet member in U.S. history after he was named Secretary of Education back in 1988. Look what you can accomplish if you set your mind to it. So we should celebrate his life because that's what gave us a lot to be proud of. Not just as a Hispanic uh, uh, person, but for our entire community. Here at the South Texas Archives at the A&M Kingsville campus, they have a number of photos and other items related to Dr. Cavazos. We took a look through some of that material with the archivist who work here. There were photographs of him as a young man and throughout his career. He even wrote a book several years back and it recounted his life from the King Ranch to when he became Secretary of Education. Now Kingsville Mayor Sam Fugate first met him at one of his book signings here in town. He wrote a book about, oh, it's been several years back, four or five years ago, and he was here in Kingsville for a book signing, and I had the opportunity to meet him. Um, he's a, a great gentleman, a great, a great Texan, you know, just, uh, just uh, you know, really, really uh, a, a great American. State Senator Chuy Inahosa also knew Dr. Cavazos and had this to say about his passing. Uh, we saw him very much take the lead in making sure uh, that not, not only our teachers, but our students have the best education opportunities possible. Many of the folks we spoke with believe that Dr. Cavazos should be recognized in a big way by this community. Some mentioned naming a school after him or maybe another educational related honor. That for a man who went from the King Ranch to becoming one of the most powerful people in the entire federal government and is now the pride of Kingsville. Michael Gibson, 3 News. Thank you, Michael, for that report. Man, what a life.